Hey guys, good morning. Liliana from Vanilla and Canela here and welcome back to Vlogtober. Now today I'm doing, these are a few of my favourite things and I'm going to do a Poundland special. There might be a couple towards the end that are not Poundland but it's going to be be mainly stuff that I picked up from Poundland and I wanted to let you know how I got on with it and if I liked it. So let's get started. Now first thing is this Astonish oven and cookware cleaner. Now I picked this up from Poundland for a pound. You can also pick them up from B&M and Home Bargains I think um, but this is the best thing I did a video just last week showing you me cleaning my cooker and my sink with this stuff. So I'm going to link that for you down below or there or at the end. It'll be somewhere for you. And this stuff is the best thing I found to clean the enamel cookers. I have tried everything. Now this one, it smells like Barkeeper's Friend. Okay, so if you know what that is that kind of smell but this is a paste and you just scoop it out and you rub your cooker with it you have to put a little bit of elbow grease into it but it does a fantastic job like nothing else and one of my subscribers tells me it is a vegan brand so there you go the next thing I want to talk about and you guys saw this in my last haul is the bath bombs. Now the one I got, as you can see it's gone, it was a Christmas pudding one and it was awesome. It smelled amazing, my whole bathroom, the water smell of it, I smelled of it. This one smelled of spiced orange. The only tiny, tiny little thing is that it looked like 50 guys have peed in the water. Okay, because the water was kind of that orangey pee looking water but don't let that put you off because this is really good and I am definitely going to go back and stock up on these and give them away for Christmas this one is the Christmas pudding I intend to try some other ones so I'll let you know about the others the other thing I picked up while I was there was a foot pack do you call it foot pack yeah foot pack and this was the argan oil now you have seen probably my previous um these are a few of my favorite things videos that I've tried other different ones you know the same brand this one is just as good I do prefer the honey one just that's kind of a nice smell a smell that I like but this one did exactly the same job in moisturizing my feet and it felt amazing so I would definitely recommend and I think I might be doing for my girlfriends for Christmas a little get pack you know of Christmas pampering stuff so that is going to go in it still talking about the pampering pack let's talk about this hand cream I tried this for you on my when I got it and I am still loving it it smells so good now I did get the one that says snowy fl snow flurries and it, it does have um, a kind of clean smell like Nivea or Dove but I am gonna try the they had a peppermint one and a gingerbread one so one of my lucky friends is gonna get that in their Christmas stocking pick those up so the next item I'm afraid it's not a good review but I wanted to let you know um, anyway I also got it on my last haul and is the makeup brush if you guys can see yeah I used it once that is pretty bad but I get I don't know I guess for a pound that's you get what you get so that I have kept it to show you but that is going straight in the bin done the next item I got and I showed you again was the bronzer I kind of like it I mean you can't even tell I've got someone can you maybe there yeah. but I mean I don't I haven't had any reaction to it it's a bronzer shimmer shimmer light I mean but what do I know about bronzers anyway 
for all I know, if I got a Mac one, I'd probably look like, I don't know, Beyonce. I don't know. So, I have nothing bad to say about that one, and that was also a pound. Okay, and now for something boring, but I bought some last time, and I did mention, but their bags are awesome. I love the Ziploc bags, so they do two sizes. This one is the large size, and I've also got the medium size. They look pretty much the same. If I bought Ziploc bags, the actual brand, they would set me back two or three pounds each. Poundland ones are a pound, obviously, and they are fantastic quality. I really, really love them, way more than I like the ones from Tesco's. In fact, I only buy the ones in Tesco's if I'm stuck and I really need them and I can't get to a Poundland, so. Okay, the last thing from Poundland was this little brush. It's okay, I mean, I wouldn't recommend it. I probably don't even know what to do with it and that's part of the problem. But, I mean, it stayed together. I'm gonna chuck it in the bin after this because I, yeah, I can't really use it or see a use for it. But you guys let me know if you have these, what do you use them for? Because I have the other sponges, you know, the, what they call the blenders and that does the job. So is this just a different type? Okay, so I have two more products, this time not from Poundland. One is from Wilco's, I almost said Morrison's. And you guys saw this in a previous haul and I'll link that below. It's this dual lips, not lipstick, what do you call it? Lip stain, lip gloss, whatever. I mean, I'm wearing it now. I mean, it was a pound and this is, I think this is ideal for a teenage girl. And it was a bit of an impulse purchase and I wouldn't buy it again. But I, th I do think, um, a teenage girl would be really happy with those colours and it would be a great stocking filler for them. And last, by no means least, I'm going to talk about mince pies. That's right. We haven't even passed Halloween and I'm already into the mince pies. And bearing in mind that I had not tried mince pies until last year. I'm not a huge fan of sultanas and currants and all that kind of stuff. But I tried one and I fell in love. So Sainsbury's do these ones. They were amazing. Amazing. You could taste the brandy, but not in a overpowering, disgusting, alcoholic cake, you know. Just a hint. It had some little nuts in the middle as well. It was just delicious. I mean, the box is empty and it's like our third box already. If you are near a Sainsbury's, go and try them out. And that's it, you guys. I'm done for another video for another day. But don't worry, I'll see you tomorrow because Vlogtober will be back. Bye for now.